Housing demand in Metro Vancouver continues to outpace historical averages with November sales eclipsing 3,000 for the first time since 2015. The Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver reports that residential home sales in the region totaled 3,064 homes in November, a 22.7% increase from the 2,498 sales recorded last year and a 16% decrease from 3,687 homes sold in October of 2020. Last month's sales were 24.6% above the 10-year November sales average and was the second highest total in this period. Now these home buyer demands have been in record levels since the summer. And of course, this is putting upward pressure on home prices. So there are 4,068 detached, attached and apartment homes newly listed for sale on the MLS in Metro Vancouver in November. So this represents a 36.2% increase compared to last year and a 27% decrease compared to October of 2020 when 5,571 homes were listed. The total number of homes currently listed for sale on the MLS system in Metro Vancouver is 11,118. That's a 3.2% increase compared to last year in November and a 10.5% decrease compared to last October. So of course the supply of homes is critical when you determine the home pricing trends. The total number of homes for sale in Metro Vancouver is lagging behind the pace of demand right now. So it is still a seller's market. For all property types, the sales to active ratio is 27.6% uh, in November and by property type, the ratio is 27.9% for detached homes, 40.1% for townhomes, and 23.9% for apartments. Generally, analysts say downward pressure on home prices occur when the ratio dips below 12% for a sustained period, while home prices often experience upward pressure when it surpasses 20% over several months. With the region, the Sunshine Coast saw the largest increase in year-over demand with 106 home sales in November, and an 82.8% increase over last year. So right now, a lot of people are heading out to the Sunshine Coast, the Gulf Islands, and Squamish. Because you know the rise of work from home arrangements have made uh, physical distancing uh, much easier and home buyers are opting for less densified areas. The MLS Home Price Index Composite Benchmark Price for all residential properties in Vancouver is $1,044,000. That's a 5.8% increase over last November and uh, pretty much the same from last October 2020. So the sales of detached homes in November 2020 reached 1,061, a 28.6% increase from the 825 detached sales recorded in November of last year, 2019. So the benchmark price for a detached home is $1,538,000. This is a 9.4% increase from November of 2019 and a 1% increase from the previous month in October 2020. So as far as apartments, uh, the, they have reached 1,371 sales in November 2020 and that's a 12.2% increase compared to uh, November of last year. And the benchmark price for an apartment is 676,000. That's 3.4% higher than last year's pricing. And about the same as the previous October 2020 month. Attached homes like townhouses in November 2020 totaled 632 sales, a 40% increase compared to 451 sales last year in November. And the average price is 814,800, and that's a 5.6% price increase from last year. Prices are going up. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. We're doing market updates every single month. So make sure you click that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the market, want to know about what areas are good to live in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that uh, notification bell. So you're notified every single time we do a new video and we're getting dozens and dozens of phone calls, text messages, and emails every single month. And we absolutely love it. So make sure you tune in and reach out to us anytime you have any questions by texting or calling 778-655-7999 or visiting our website at searchbcrealestate.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.